Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. In this video, we're going to create a Flask application that uh, simply returns the value of a stock. Of stock, we're going to use Y Finance, and that's the Python library. This is all going to be done in Python. Uh, and yeah, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button or hit the like button. Let's get right into it. Uh, so to start, we're going to go into our main function. We can do from Flask import Flask and render underscore template. And then we're going to also import Y Finance as YF. Uh, it's very important that you install these packages in your environment. Uh, that's a whole different uh, subject of, of study. But you know, if you're running this from the command line, you might do something like pip install, you know, Y Finance, something like that. And uh, and but I'm using PyCharm, so we just go in here and go to preferences, and it's a little different. We just go into interpreter, hit the plus sign, and then we can select the packages. That's why I like Pyth or uh, PyCharm just for for testing and goofing around a bit. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our app, and the app is this Flask, and then we pass into it name. And then we're going to create the app root. App.route is equal to slash. So that's going to resolve to index. So because we're using this route, we're going to have to define a template and name it index. I'm going to define index is equal to this. And then ticker equals yf.ticker. And we're going to grab the ticker from this lovely uh, Y Finance uh, library. Okay, I'm going to go info equals ticker dot info, and then this uh, method is going to return render underscore template uh, of index dot html. New value equals, oops, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, got lost there, man. New value equals info which we declared over there. Well, I totally messed that up. Info, and then regular market price. Value of info is regular market price. Yeah, because it's this this uh, yf dot ticker. Uh, you know, we have to select the item by that key at regular market price. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and type in if underscore underscore name equals main with double underscores on either side app.run if name equals main app.run yeah that looks right there's no double equal gotta do the double equal app.run okay let's run it we're starting our little server dealy and then there you go the current value of apple is 1387 or 137.87 what if we did MSFT run that bad boy obviously it's going to be a different number it's not going to say MSFT because we didn't change the template and we see the current value of Apple is 240.22. That's in that's an incorrect statement. Uh, we'd have to go back into this and say the current value of MSFT. Change this to MSFT. We can make this a little bit more robust to take that, uh, you know, to parse that information of the of the ticker symbol uh, if we wanted to. Quite easy. Let's do it again. MSFT value 240.22. Good, good. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you create a simple Flask application to uh, display a stock price using Y Finance. If you got, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye bye.